Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy. Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So, God tells Noah, Noah, that is, to build an ark. If you look in Genesis chapter 6, verse 14, he gives him some building instructions. And he tells him what materials he'll need. Well, he tells him, first of all, he'll need to have a certain type of wood, a gopher wood. It's an agile wood, the sages explain, to withstand the pressure of the water so it shouldn't crack. And then he says, you should cover it inside and out with pitch, with patar. Now, the obvious understandable reason why God's telling him to cover the inside and the outside with tar is to make it waterproof because wood is porous and the water will seep in and he was meant to be there and as we know they're going to be there for an entire year now I ask you a question as we read the verses we become very much aware of the fact that this wasn't ordinary waters even regular waters especially in the ocean they have pressure but this was very pressurized. In fact, it was boiling water. It basically melted away everything, dissolved everything. And this brings me to ask the question, what's the point of putting pitch? What's the point of putting tar? It's not the tar that actually made them survive, that helped them survive. It's not the actual tar that made this arc waterproof. It's the fact that God protected them. God made a promise that he will protect them. He made a covenant with them, all those in the ark, from man to beast. So the question is, why even bother putting on tar? Do you know how much effort it took for Noah? How many months or maybe even years just to waterproof that thing? Why bother? Why at all? In fact, the question could even be asked more, moreover. Why even make Noah build this ark? He could have just told him, listen, just bring all the animals to your house. Just like God can make the ark survive the torrential flood. And like I said, this wasn't just water, which in itself is enough to break apart a little vessel like that. But this was extraordinarily pressurized and heated boiling water. What's the point? The answer is, and this is why the Torah is telling it to us, there's a lesson for us. The lesson for us is, ultimately, the things that succeed, whatever does happen in our lives, ultimately it happens because Hashem, because God wants it to happen. It's just that God wants us to do our part. Whatever is humanly possible, Whatever we can do according to the natural means that are available to us, we must do. We need to do. We need to do our part, and then God makes his part. If his part is the blessing, the success of the matter, then so it will be. Thus, Noah had to approach this, knowing that there's going to be, quote, a flood. He didn't know the enormity of the pressure of the flood. He didn't know how severe it would be, but he knew that it's going to involve water. So God is telling him, what are the natural means, the steps, the logical steps that he has to take in order to ensure, at least under normal circumstances, that the vessel that he will be in will be indeed waterproof. And that's a lesson for us, to do everything we possibly can and then pray and hope for God's blessing.